Um, born in the States, but you know, originally from Nigeria. Um, Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, the national team. You know, just being, I guess, of age and being an American descent, it was easier for them to call me out there. Um, you know, I went up there for the uh, the U17 World Cup then. Um, you know, I went up there, it was nice, but at the same time, it was like pretty much college time. You know what I mean? I was 16 going to 17, so that's college years, and you know, African being African, my parents were like, nah, you gotta get back because you gotta go to school. So I came back home, and then I went back to Nigeria, and this time it was for the Olympics. And that's when they just went to Brazil. And, you know, I was there for pretty much the whole year up until they were gonna go and then I get hurt. So it was just like, um, went to school four years, or I did two years at Towson, went to UMBC, um, then I got drafted. I uh, got drafted by Vancouver um, in the White Caps and MLS, and um, I was there for about for two months or three. Um, then, you know, we decided to go overseas instead. You know, coming back home and watching the Olympics, and you're just like, damn, like I was, I was there with those guys. And, but you know, it took a lot of people talking to me, and just like I was down for a bit. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, I, I, I suck it up and brought back in, it. and then that's why I ended up in Pittsburgh. It's below, you know, uh, MLS, so it's known nationally. So, um, you know, maybe not be the highest pay, but. It's the same, you know, pretty much the same thing. And it's easy to get bumped to MLS from USL. So um, I took that chance and I started playing there. With the USL, it's, it's, I feel like it's kind of who you know. Um, not necessarily talent. Like I said, it's, we play this game because we love it, but it's also a job. So at the end of the year, when you don't feel like you're making as much as you could or whatever the case is, and you're missing a lot of know life I end up having a son so I was missing a lot of that time and you know being far away from home and not really feeling like you're making all this you know I got a call from uh, the owner here um, and you know he, he gave me a pretty good offer and it was just like hey you can also do this and be around your son which to me was a lot more important than even the plane so it was a no-brainer for me and then when I heard the project and you know where he wanted this to go and just like his layout with everything, it made more sense to me to even come back home, you know, and it's been everything that he said it was going to be, so, you know, I'm excited to see where it goes. You miss, as well, for soccer-wise, you miss, depending on where you're at, you miss a lot of the, you know, the one-on-one -on -one times with him, the, you know, sleeping early with him, and, you know, just all that father-son time that you, that you would get normally when you're just at home and doing nothing. Um, but then being young as well and having a kid that young, I get to grow up with him. You know what I mean? Like, he don't look at me as the dad that I want to tell them to. It's shit, it's the dad I want to grow up with. You know what I mean? So that, that I feel like that's what's important about that. I like that aspect of it. So it's a, it's, it's a learning experience, but then, you know, you grow up pretty fast. So that's, I, like, I think that because, you know, some people look at it and be like, you had it early and, you know, messed up this and messed up that. I think he had me more focused. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's it's a role where, you know, I got to get the guys together. I got to keep the intensity up from everybody. I got to demand the same thing I demand from the worst guy to the best guy, you know. And I think the guys are bought in. I don't know if you can see them in the background, but they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty good players here. And I think the energy is what, you know, I bring. And a lot of people want to be serious because they see, oh, like, kids been here or kids been that. But, you know, it's all to help the team, to be honest. So. Honestly, my future is just focused on here, on um, wherever this takes us to. Like like I said, the layout and the plan that he has in front of us, like it's only good that can come from this. So wherever it is, whether it's being in an organization, whether it's playing higher up, like whatever it is, I think it's a good platform to get players out. And I don't really see a lot of teams in this DMV doing the same thing. So, you know, when you have that platform, you, know, you, set, up, you set up people, to, to hopefully be successful, so I think I think that's that's important with this podcast. Believe it or not, slow music. I actually like slow music. I think obviously African music is always up there, but I like soothing music, calming music, and shit. 
I like Chris Brown, and you know, people don't talk about that, but I do. So. I don't have none of that. That's that's for that's for in house. We don't we don't do that out here. That's for in house. Look at me, man. You gotta be pretty. Like, you, you know, I mean, they can talk. I'm just trying to look good, man. That's all it is. Sure, appreciate y'all. Cool.